Welcome back to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the financial system and economic development. Financial system is the backbone of an economy. It is this financial system that pumps finance into the economy. And it is this financial system that creates a platform for the mobilization of savings and channelizing it to profitable ventures. And the financial system has its own components such as financial markets, financial institutions, financial instruments, and financial services. A financial system operates through these four components. The economic development of any country is influenced directly or indirectly by the financial system of that country. The supply of finance affects the standard of living, the level of national income, employment, generation and hence it affects the economic development of a country thus there is a strong relationship between the finance and economic development or we can say the financial system of a country and the economic development a well-developed financial system can contribute significantly in speeding up the economic development and growth now let us see how this can be achieved the economic development of a country depends on the rate of capital formation and the capital formation depends on whether finance is available at the right time in right quantity and at reasonable rates of interest and all this can be achieved if there is a good financial system now due to low incomes uh, quite often the people are not able to save a fund or they are not able to save money uh, which are needed for uh, setting up of uh, new units and for the expansion diversification and also for the modernization of the existing units but the financial system helps a large number of persons for setting up of uh, industrial units by making funds available through the financial institutions or the financial intermediaries the uh, addition of uh, new industrial units and increasing the activities of the existing units help in accelerating the, the speed of the economic development of a country. Thus, we can say that the financial system helps a lot in the capital formation, which in turn supports in increasing the speed of economic development of a country. The development of a country can be seen from the infrastructural facilities available in the country like the availability of a road, water, electricity and the communication facilities for the people in the country. And if a good financial system is working in a country, there will be fund channelized into these uh, industrial units fund for uh, the development of these infrastructural facilities. Thus, if the financial system of a country is good, then the infrastructural facilities will also improve and if there is improved infrastructural facilities that will help in improving the standard of living of people and help in improving their uh, convenience. Thus we can say that the financial system help in the development of a country. It is the general tendency of entrepreneurs to set up industrial units in those places which are already developed because all the infrastructural facilities will be available and it will be easy for them for doing their business there but uh, it causes imbalance in the economic development of certain areas but if there is a good financial system it helps in the development of the backward areas by providing special assistance to the entrepreneurs for setting up new units in these backward areas. If they prefer backward areas than the developed areas, then there will be additional benefit to them. The financial institutions like IDBI, IFCI and ICICI, they give priority in giving assistance to those units that are set up in backward areas and they even charge lower rates of interest while they lend fund to these industries because they are giving priority to the backward areas. Thus, we can say that a financial system helps in the balanced economic development of a country 
or they help in the balanced economic growth of a country by developing the backward areas and hence they lead to the overall development of the country. When the financial system provides fund for the setting up of new units or for the expansion of the existing units, they are actually creating more job opportunities also. They help in creating employment opportunities. Sometimes in backward areas, if this fund is provided for setting up of units in backward areas, this financial system is supporting to create employment opportunities in backward areas also. Thus, we can say that the financial system, by encouraging the setting up of units in certain areas, they increases the job opportunities of the people in those areas and which help in the overall development of the country. Thus, we can say that financial system supports in employment generation and the employment generation helps the people to earn more income and to improve their standard of living and it will lead to the development of the country on the whole. As we all know, the economic development of any country depends upon the level of industrialization of that country and the setting up of more and more industrial units, it will generate direct and indirect employment opportunities and in addition to that, it will make goods and services available in the country and it will also help in increasing the standard of living of the people in the country and we all know that it is these factors that lead to the development of the country on the whole and the financial system it provides the required financial support for these industrial units and in addition to the financial support they also provide managerial support technical support and also some advisory services for setting up of new units in these areas. And in certain areas where the entrepreneurs do not want to risk their funds just because of a long gestation period or the high risk involved in the sector. But industries are needed for the development of the area. Then in such situations, it is this financial institutions or it is a financial system, we can say, that provides sufficient funds for their development. Thus, we can understand that the financial institutions have played a key role in accelerating the pace of industrialization. And the country will progress in almost all areas of economic development if there is a good financial system in the country. So, we have analyzed the role of financial system in the economic development of a country. There is a strong relationship existing between the financial system and the economic development of a country. Now that we have discussed in detail how the financial system influences the economic development of the country, the video lecture comes to an end. Thank you for watching this video and for more videos you can subscribe the channel.